So let's talk about using vintage lenses on Fuji X-Series cameras. Now, the first thing you might be wondering is why would I wanna use an old vintage lens on a modern camera? And the main reason is you can pick them up extremely cheap. They're very affordable. You can find them at yard sales, thrift shops, on eBay, and sometimes you can get them for, you know, five, 10 bucks. And so that is something that, you know, is definitely worth picking up and playing with. Now, I will admit that some of them, they're gonna have poor quality. It just depends on the lens. Um, however, there are a lot of really good lenses, you know, that are like 30, 40 years old that you can pick up for practically nothing and play around with. The other thing to keep in mind is that lenses have character. So even if they has flaws to it, they might be cool flaws that you wanna use in certain situations. Now, really quick, before I show you how to set these up on your Fuji camera, if this is your first time here, thank you for joining us. Um, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. It really, really means a lot to me. And um, yeah, let's uh, get on with the video. Okay, so this is just a, uh, a cheap manual adapter that um, I picked up on Amazon. You can usually find these for 10 to $20. Um, they are manual focus, which isn't really a big deal because a lot of these older lenses, you know, they're manual focus lenses and there's nothing wrong with that. The first thing that you wanna do is go to your mount adapter setting and you're gonna set this to the, uh, the focal length of the lens that you're putting on. The next thing that you wanna do is go to shoot without lens and turn that on. Um, the reason being is there's no connectors here to tell the camera anything. So as far as the camera is concerned, there is nothing attached. We wanna make sure that we can still take photos, so turn this on. Now, like I mentioned, this is a manual focus system. So there's a couple other settings that um, I use and I would highly recommend setting these up. The first one is gonna be the manual focus assist. Most of the time I keep mine set to red high. And what this does is when you're focusing on your subject, you're gonna see it, it turn red, it start to highlight. And that helps you realize, you know, what is in focus. So it's a really simple system to use. Um, I keep mine on red most of the time. Now, if I was gonna be shooting a subject that had a lot of red in it, it might be a little confusing, in which case you can go with one of the other colors. Now, another thing that is really, really handy is focus check. Some Fuji cameras, for example, my Fuji X-T1, has a dedicated focus assist button. So whenever I'm going to focus, I can hit it, it zooms in, uh, I can focus, and then pull back and take my picture. This is not a dedicated button on other cameras like, say, for example, the X-T2, X-T3, so for these cameras, you're gonna to wanna to set up a custom button to do this. Uh, it's very simple. All you need to do is press and hold the display back button. Now you just need to select which button you wanna use for the focus check. You don't have to use the one that I use. Personally, I, I use the command wheel, but you can set this up to any button that's gonna be comfortable for you. So in future videos, I'm gonna actually be taking some vintage lenses out and doing, um, you know, just little photo shoot vlog things. Um, kind of like a review, but um, yeah, if that's something that you might be interested in checking out, make sure you subscribe to the channel and look forward to those videos in the future. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, make sure to give me a like. I truly appreciate that. And um, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Later.